to detail wages and have uh, have that explained to me how we uh, have a uh, actual spending of 5480 and we want to jump it up to twenty thousand dollars detail wages is police department wages um. when I have a paving contract we used to get some dynamic fluctuations in what people would use for uh, hourly rates and number of hours even um, so well over a year ago it's probably been the second full year we just pay police detail wages we do an interdepartment transfer so I pay for them for uh, when Toby's crews are let's say clearing catch basins in the middle of the road or a sewer, a sewer manhole in the middle of the road videotaping or jetting we pay I pay for those wages I pay for them for if I need a if I'm having a dangerous tree removed and I need a detail around that I pay for that same thing with paving and any other construction it just made it much much simpler so it is a uh, it's the same 20k that was in there last year it's just that as of when this was put together, it's at 5480. Yeah, because it's uh, 5480 at the end of September. If you run that out for a year, that's definitely not the twenty thousand dollars. That's for sure. It's probably somewhere uh, around eight or nine, somewhere in that range. <coughs> but understand if uh, what could happen is this: uh, three years ago, we paved. Exeter Road from yeah. Timber Swamp to the Exeter Town Line. Mm -hmm. yeah. the police details alone were sixteen thousand dollars for that one, for that half three hundred thousand dollar paving job. Mm -hmm. I've got on the books plans for close to six hundred thousand dollars of paving in, in in road reconstruction in um, twenty seventeen. Plus, I pro will probably have to pay for the details along 101 while we're putting in the new force main or Lafayette Road while we replace that sewer line mm -hmm. or traffic control if I have to do a work over at the Bicentennial Seawall would all come out of that account. Okay, so any further questions before we take the vote?